What's going on YouTube? Infamous Beats here. I'll be working on another trap beat and this time it's a uh, OJ the Juice Man 808 Mafia um, kind of beat and there's a lot of bass slides. And uh, the beat is titled um, Never Let It Slide <laughs> and um, this is what it looks like. Let me open up the studio. There we go. Let's open up the project. Never let it slide. Let's hide this shit real quick. All right, I'm gonna break it down pattern by pattern and then I'm gonna play a little snippet. You can hear everything on the on my sound click. And um, y'all can lease that for $7.99, I think it is. So let me quickly break down all the single patterns. Okay, let's open up the first kick pattern. And this is what it looks like. See the kick is always on C5. Pretty heavy beat and kick. The tempo is 142, so it's slightly faster than usual. This is the first 808 pattern. And as you can see, as I was saying earlier, it's on G4, so it's pretty low. And this is the part, the important part. This part right here is where the slide, the slide occurs. You see this note, D5? There's a, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You see that there's a, the, the, the root note, which is G4, and then I go on D5, and you see there's a little, a little kind of arrow thingy right here. And the way you do this uh, bass slide, that you can kind of hear the two notes overlay and they kind of come up and it looks like it's sucking it up. So the way you do that is pretty much you just go here and you click on this little triangle thing. So once you click on that, then obviously you find the, the right notes that fit in the chord and then you can, for example, put in A5. And as you will see, once this is clicked, you will have a that little triangle at the beginning of the note and what that does, now it's not clicked anymore and you see there's no triangle. So this is how you do the bass slide. So that's that. And then this is what the 808 sounds like. You can barely hear it without good headphones, but I guarantee you, you'll hear it later. This is the second kick pattern. Kind of faster and more. Gives you that whole, changes the beat up. And it makes the beat faster as well. So obviously this is where the, the bass slide madness goes on. So as you see here, it's G5, so it's a pretty high note. And then there's a, a slide up and then it goes down and then it goes back up and it gives you that kind of wobble wobble effect and then it goes back down to G4. But as you can see here, it's A5, E5, C5. So what it does is pretty much it goes uh, like a, it slides down rather than uh, transitioning more in a kind of like a segmented kind of way. It kind of slides through the whole thing and it's it, lo it looks, uh, it sounds pretty cool. So as you can hear here. <laughs> it does kind of like a woo. It's cool. Woo. Right. This is the third kick pattern. Once again, here it slows up. It, it actually speeds up a lot to make the beat more interesting and and also close the, the actual hook or the verse. I don't really remember. I think it's the the last the last eight bars of the hook. Yeah, probably. And there's another as you can see, the, the root note is still G4. And here, it actually goes up. 
there's another bass slide here and the bass here it's way more segmented as well because there's four kicks so it's really this part is really makes it a lot faster and as you can see there's a little slide here as well so it goes g4 it slides up to a5 and then from once it's a5 it slides up to c6 as well there you can hear that <laughs> it's a cool technique the bass slide i like it and uh pretty much the 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 basic this is the same technique you use on uh on the brass as you can see here let me zoom in a little bit because you can already see me that much i use the same technique here with f8 and g8 on d7 so the whole the whole the root note for this one is d obviously and this is what the the brass sounds like So once again, you can hear the slide going up, and here it goes down. And here it goes down. There. Now we go to the... This is pretty much the same, but it's just lower. It's just a lower after of the of the brass Whoa. this is to switch it up a little more actually and there's a um, this is a super saw from uh, from the super the Johnny Giuliano pack. It's pretty cool. Let's hear just that. It's pretty much the same. It's actually the same uh, melody as the pad, uh, as, as the brass. You just copy it, and then it all fits together pretty nicely. Well, this one it kind of sounds like a, it's a lead synth, plastic sleeve, and it kind of sounds like a key on the track type guitar, so it's pretty, sounds pretty nice. And together, this is what they sound like, it has a cool aggressive sound that I like. This is the same, it's just higher, and as you can see here again, there's the bass slide, the, not the bass slide, just the slide here. No slide. You see? But there's a little triangle thing. These are some horns, obviously. It's D3. I made the this little short stab notes to actually aggravate it even more and make it sound even darker and more aggressive this once again it's in uh, the dance orchestra split horns sound pretty good this is Chinese flute I like this sound it's kind of like a whistle but there's a, a little, there's more texture and it's more interesting. It's not that flat, and it, there's more ambient to it as well. Here I just did the slide without actually using the slide notes, but just using the portamento and turning it up, and that allows you to transition from one note to another. This is a lower register of the same Chinese flute and it's uh, the same pattern but it's just to switch it up a little more so uh, I've broken down the, um, the single notes and made them faster. These are some super nice hits. 
from uh, Rackstrap. It's like some expansions back that you find on the internet. Bells. And then there's the, the closure of the bell as well. D5, and then it goes to G5. And this part I really like because it's a, uh, it feels, it fits perfect in the drop. You'll see later. Typical snare. Hi-hats. Once again, to make this faster, you just select a note and then you click and then you select it and you click alt u and then you can select the time multiplier and make it how however fast you want see i'm not just doing i'm not just illustrating the beat i'm also dropping some freaking knowledge so it's good this is just some slower hat to switch it up a little more i didn't use the the time multiplier for this one i just uh, filled it in every two and then made it faster every once in a while to just kind of switch it up this is another kind of whistle scissor lead but this is good this is um the melody for this uh, for the hook the first one and then there's another one that i did on uh, which is i'll show you later this is just a snare filler snare kind of in the background you can barely hear it but it's pretty nice kind of like a jaleo beat kind of thing this is another snare to make it a little faster and switch it up a little more it's that chief keef snare if you don't know you should this is just some regular a little snare roll that I did using some kind of this kind of like shakers same technique here with the time multiplier and then I did also this kick roll so as you can see here the technique is always the same you do the kick you just split it up by selecting it clicking alt u and then you get that but as you can see as you can hear it actually sounds like it's raising the volume is raising and this is how you do it you do it with the velocity so you start off and everything is like this and it all sounds the same and then what you do is you click the last one or the first one with the with the right mouse with the right button on the mouse and then you keep the, the mouse clicked and you scroll down and you go down and what it does it is uh, it will create this slope and that will give you the impression of actually a rising volume and it makes it more let me actually turn these up a little bit There we go. So that completes the drop, and um, we're almost there. Uh, this is a, like a crash, double crash. Uh, this is what I used to do the the chorus. As I said, it's like a juice man type. So I filled in with the with that juice man, you know, with the juice man. Jew man in this motherfucker. So I filled it in with that. Hey! Juice man chant. And then the. Okay! Right here. Okay! There we go. This is just a faster version. Okay! And then there's this raise. Let me play it from the start. From Jenny Giuliano, Superstar O. If it's um, from Silent One, it's uh, drip, Drippy's Rays. Drippy's Rays, JJ. And then there's the 
I also used the uh, I also recorded where is that a sample which is this one which is uh, the one that I used from it's a uh, it's in um silent one I think it's like a psycho lead or something from uh, from Superstar o. this is what it sounds like that sounds fucking sick to me but anyways um, let's now go to the patterns to the actual beat Nah, I'm not gonna show you how, I mean, you should know by now how I EQ my shit and whatever. If you wanna see how I actually did all this, just check out another one of my tutorials. This is just a quick breakdown, so it's just to show you a little bit what the beat sounds like and how I did it. So I'm not gonna waste that much time, not mine, not yours. And uh, this is how the beat, um, how the beat layout looks like. It's like a intro and then there's uh, this little hook without uh, the actual hook synth and everything. And then there's, it goes full power and then it drops to the verse. And then there's the verse, 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 and there's, there's the hook. And then there's another verse and another hook. If you need, if you, if you want this beat, I can make it um, for you. I, it, this is, right now it's like uh, three hooks and two verses, but if you want, I can make it three and three it's okay i don't have the verse or i can make it as long as you, as you want as you like it if you want to spit on it just hit me up 7.99 and uh yeah this is what the beat sounds like i'm gonna give you a quick preview not the whole thing and uh y'all can check that out on uh, on my sound click and whatever hope you like it play go <laughs> that's enough for the for the preview hope you like the beat and uh, check me out on soundclick subscribe whatever out